for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to leave a comment, please leave your favorite flower in the comments. Any interaction will help with the algorithm. So let's get to it. It's being reported that Christian Rock has been seen smoking while pregnant. Many people and many fans are speaking out. Why is she doing that? Is she smoking a cigarette? Is she smoking a blunt? She's almost close to, she may have two or three months to go many people say i'm sure her family's going to assist and help if she has to travel i'm sure the family will help in regards to the child her and blue face recently took a lie detector i didn't even know you should be hooked up to a lie detector while pregnant hello don't know if that's good or bad don't know because i'm not a lie detector specialist but it was the same guy that um was questionable about chris jenner having a lie detector and she had a thick jacket on. Don't know if that's supposed to be or not. And if it can really pick up your senses if you have a wool jacket on. And she was basically asked if she had anything to do with the Kim Ray J situation. And she's basically saying no. But we know Kim, the mom works with the Kardashian children. They don't do nothing without her help. Or she directs them to get help. So here nor there. Like I said before, a judge would have to decide whether Chris and Kim are not telling the truth and if Ray J wants to move, go forward with the lawsuit. He'd have to decide that. A judge and a jury would have to decide. But that's the same guy that did the lie detector in regards to Christian. So many people and fans are calling her out in regards to why she's smoking while pregnant. And many people feel that, you know, if a woman doesn't feel strong in mind, body, soul, and spirit to carry a child, if they should use other type of precautionary situationships to not become pregnant. As we know, the world has changed in regards to people continuing with the situation. I'll say it that way. I'll, I'm, always, I'm always cautious about what I say because I don't want to get flagged. So many people are talking about their pages and, you know, certain things not being monetized and I'm cautious about what I say. That's why I hesitate certain words because I don't know all the words that can and cannot. And you have other pages that curse after 10 minutes. You have other pages that don't curse at all. So this is the biggest thing. Krishan and Blueface is concerning. I've always said that. Recently, Krishan went to the church and I'm sure the church is probably like, wow. But the show was taped a while ago so I'm sure this is something that somewhat new in regards to people are going to respond because the show was taped probably five six months ago or four months ago but now she's almost due but recently she went to a church gave the pastor a lot of money because he had blessed her with some money and offering she had gave a five dollar offering and then the pastor gave her all the offerings that was collected for the service that day. Sometimes pastors will do that. And why do they do that when they see a person in need? It's not always like that. Um, sometimes churches will do that. And that's when you know that a church is not selfish. And they care about people and they care about the community. And sometimes the pastor will hear from the ministers that... XYZ might need a little assistance or help and just some good news and a blessing. So it's unfortunate Christian was caught smoking. Let's get to, I went too fast. Okay, Christian Rock um, caught was smoking while pregnant. Let's get to the next clip. It's being reported that the Real Housewives of Atlanta fans slam production in regards to not deciding to um, put up Kenya spa scenes. Many people feel that Kenya spoke out on Carlos King, and we're wondering if situationships are going to happen in regards to Kenya, Candy and Kenya, and should all the women come back? Many people don't feel Nene's probably going to be able to come back because of her lawsuit, but of course, NBC is questioning Bravo and um, 
Universal. And allegedly there may be a forthcoming lawsuit. So Bravo's being questioned in regards to several things. People feeling a way of how they're portrayed. People feeling a way in regards to them consuming alcohol. And then they have to do a scene. I don't know anybody that goes on a job and you're expected to do a job if you're intoxicated. Hello? I don't understand why Bravo don't feel that they have to follow rules and regulations of just regular employment. Things are over actualized There's concerns with alcohol. There's concerns with whether people are getting proper treatment in regards to mental health. But Kenya spoke a lot about Bravo. Now let's see what happens in regards to it. But they cut out her scenes. But instead, they gave Candy a lot of scenes. They talked about Drew in regards to in Candy's movie. So Candy can promote a lot of stuff. And I do agree with Kenya. Why didn't she ever get a show or a show of her own this is the one thing I will say okay yeah we had the mark situation she got married she didn't invite them to the wedding she didn't even tell them she was getting married but for prior to her meeting mark why didn't she ever get a show of her own now she's basically saying she should have a show of her own in regards to her and her daughter and the friends but Bravo has denied it Candy's has a show Candy has a YouTube channel Dr. Heavenly um, has a YouTube channel. I'm not certain if all the girls can have a YouTube channel. I think NeNe tried and they might have snatched it from her. But yeah, fans are going in in regards to production, cutting can, can, um, Kenya's um, spa scenes. But I think I'm wondering if Bravo is going to have an issue now. The law, there's not an actual lawsuit now, but it's forthcoming. And what that means is I'm sure they're trying to gather all the information. They're trying to make sure people don't delete anything. That letter went out. And they're trying to have all the Universal slash Bravo slash NBC slash reality stars that want to be a part of this lawsuit. And they're trying to get them a union. They're trying to have the NDA thrown out. Because how can you have a lawsuit and if you can't really talk about certain situationships? You should be able to talk about certain situationships. So whether the NDAs get thrown out, I don't know. But there's that in regards to Ken. Kenya. What wishes to Kenya? She has been able to hold the show down. We don't see a lot of favoritism in regards to Kenya and Kenya brings it. She feels that her seat should be next to Andy. Candy says she don't want her seat next to Andy because that's the hot seat. And we already know Candy don't want the hot seat because then Candy will have to tell more than she wants to tell. Candy wants to say what Candy wants to say. Candy wants to do what Candy wants to do. Candy makes Bravo money. So I think Bravo gives her slight favoritism. And the biggest thing is, who's she having threesomes with? And why is the show over actualizing things and promoting Todd's stuff and they don't promote other people's stuff? I think there's a slight favoritism there. Candy's recently, and this is a good thing, Candy recently has had different YouTubers on her show and doing her show and like slightly interviewing her. But many people feel a way about that. Now, when the altercations came out about her restaurant and stuff, Candy made sure she went on like four or five different YouTubers that that week just to kind of not put the narrative out about her restaurants. This is the biggest thing I told y'all. Real House of Atlanta, people are schooled to perform, to perform and distract away from if you don't want a story out there. They've been taught that. Let's get to the next clip. Okay, it's being said that Kyle Richards takes a vacation with her strange husband aiming the alleged divorce. Now, whether they are going to get a divorce or are going to get a separation, we don't know. We don't know if this is even storyline because Kyle's been connected to some kind of singer. That may be just summer fun or that might be a situationship. But like I told y'all, these housewives are taught to create storylines for the up and coming season. Now, is Kyle still on the show? Yeah, I don't even know. And I don't even know if he still has the show on Netflix in regards to his housing. But yeah, it's nice to see that they're all on vacation. That should happen. In regards to Wendy Williams opens a secret bank account after her fortune was frozen by the courts. So I'm happy. I had said that. I had hoped that Wendy had a secret bank account because it's important to be able to access money without the, the banks knowing about it. There's just going a lot going on with Wendy, and I, I don't wish that on anybody. Once you get on some kind of conservatorship issues with the courts, you know, 
it's it's a whole different situation. It's a whole different ball game. I wish Wendy Williams well. It's sad that she going out like this. It's sad that she didn't have 20 great girlfriends that can help her through this situation. Her circle was small. And it's sad what Kevin did. He cheated. He had a baby. Now, I think that Kevin and the girlfriend or his fiance broke up. And it was being alleged that Kevin was trying to get back with Wendy. Now, whether Wendy is going to do that, I don't know. And we know that she was talking about having a podcast. It don't look like she's going to have a podcast anytime soon. And it might be because he's trying to fight her still in court in, re in regards to trying to get alimony. So well wishes to Wendy. I don't wish this on nobody's sister, mother, aunt, anybody. She just needs a great surrounding friends to help her and that's what it should be going towards her medical care someone feeding her someone taking her out when she wants to go out that's what her money should be spent on her wellness her care and providing for her and they should have to show receipts and videos in regards to what they're doing with her if if there's concerns with the court courts but well wishes well wishes to wendy it's sad how she's going out now when barbara walters went through her medical stuff we barely heard about it so well wishes to wendy and we get it. That's why the son did an interview saying he's concerned. But many people are saying, is the son concerned? Because the son might be talking with the dad and they're trying to figure out ways to. And mind you, Wendy's son was put out from his apartment because the court said, no, nobody's going to pay that anymore. We need to focus on Wendy and making sure she's comfortable. This is the money she made. And that's what we're going to focus on. And allegedly, Wendy set him up on that apartment when he, she was well. But then, of course, there were some medical issues. But well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about all the subject and hot topics. If you don't want to make a comment, just put your favorite flower in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.